the third time's a charm. That's what I always say. So after a failed first attempt, however, in this last month I've been running into some problems. And a somewhat decent second attempt, I thought this year was gonna be perfect. But as it turns out, I was wrong. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start this story at the beginning. It was a warm spring day. I noticed the tadpole season had started and there was no time to waste. Okay, so this is what we got. I think this is a pretty decent brew, but the clock is ticking. In just 50 days, I'll be on vacation. And my mission is to have these little guys fully turn into frogs before I leave. It's a tight timeline, but with the right setup, it's definitely possible. So let's get to work and build them a proper tank. I managed to find this old terrarium online for free. It is a bit dirty and it has multiple cracked panels, but we can work with this. First, the tank needed a good clean. Then I took the whole thing apart and replaced the broken panels. With the tank now fixed, I began scaping. I didn't use anything special here, just some play sand, river rocks and driftwood. I wanted to make sure this tank looks and feels just like the creek I found the tadpoles in. So to bring that look full circle, I decided to only use plants I could find in and around the creek. And to get that certified natural look, I added a bunch of leaf leather. I also collected some gunk from another little creek that was nearby and added it to this setup. Okay, so. I thought this was a really smart idea, introducing native bacteria and whatnot to help out our little ecosystem. But it turns out this decision will come back to haunt me later on. But before we get to that, let's first introduce our little tadpoles. I felt that the upper area of this setup was a bit empty, so I collected some branches and added them to the tank. Okay, day 7, we're a week in. Uh, thing is, I have not seen that much of the tadpoles yet. At first, I thought this was due to the overabundance of leaves, but after searching the tanks, I couldn't find any tadpoles. I did, however, find this little monster. At first, I really wasn't sure what kind of creature I just stumbled across. But after searching the entire internet, I think I might have found what it is. I think this might be the larva of the great diving beetle. But there's more. The beetle can be harmful in small garden ponds by eating small fish and amphibian larvae. Okay. So that's where the tadpoles went. Into his belly. <laughs> Let's call him Kevin. Two days later, the main tank still seems to be empty, and so is Kevin's belly. But we can't keep feeding him tadpoles. So instead, I switched him over to mealworms which he seems to like as well. A 
Okay, so although Kevin ate our apples, I still think he's pretty cool. And I thought he would make a really cool B story to this video. Showcasing another animal that goes through a metamorphosis, just like the tadpoles. Uh, the thing is, yeah, he's gone. I fed him this morning before I left for work and he seemed to be fine. But uh, just now when I went to check on him, I noticed that uh, yeah, he's gone. And it's uh, probably my own fault. Uh, I was planning on getting him a cool little tank, but uh, yeah, I messed up there. At this point, the video felt lost. And I pretty much decided I was gonna scrap the video. I briefly considered looking for more tadpoles and starting over from scratch. But with less than a month left, there simply was not enough time. And I don't want to burden the people looking after my pads to also record footage of the tadpoles. So the only option is to scrap the video and take the tank down. But then I noticed there was some movement in the tank. I think I just saw a tadpole. I have no idea where they were hiding or what they've been eating for the past couple of weeks. But all of a sudden there were a couple of pretty big tadpoles enjoying the tank. I'm very happy to see that the tadpoles are growing fast and more and more of them keep showing up. Although I'm still a bit confused about where or why they were hiding. My best guess is that they notice Kevin's presence in the room and now that the smell of the predator has faded, they feel safe to come back out again. Anyway, I'm just super happy to see that we still have some tadpoles left. They luckily all have grown their back legs by now and I'm really hoping to see the first front legs soon. It's day 40 and with only 10 more days left, I could notice there was something going on. It seemed like everyone in the tank already knew. They knew something big just happened. One of their brothers just grew his front legs. And what makes this even more special is that it's on one of the smaller tadpoles. You can see the big boys next to him being jealous of his legs. Well don't worry little one, you'll get yours soon enough. Our four-legged friends seem to already try and get out of the water. So I guess it won't be long until we see them up in the branches. Okay, <laughs> it is happening. Hey, it's my cat. It's happening. Guys, take a look at this. Just look back there. Wait, we need to get closer. We need to get closer. There we go. We got our first frog. And he's not alone either. All over the tank you can find these tiny froglets. It's looking really good for our little frogs, but not everyone is quite there yet. So let's just give them a couple more days. Fifty days ago we started with an old cracked terrarium and a bucket full of frog spawn. I had high hopes for this project, even though I wasn't really sure if it would work. We faced some setbacks along the way, but somehow, they made it. And now, it's time to let them go. This is the same creek I found them in, and now they're going back. But this time, with lungs, legs, and a whole new perspective. And yeah, not everything went as planned, 
But that's what makes this adventure special to me. Against all odds, these frogs get to live out their dreams. But now I'm wondering, what's yours? I'm a big fan of frogs and if you made it this far into the video, I'm pretty sure you're a big frog lover too. So if you're interested in more frog content, I recommend you watch this video next. I'll see you there.